Hello you lot, welcome back to the channel and yes today I'm going to be doing a rather long and overdue oil change on the Mitsubishi Colt. So stick with me for the next 10 minutes or so. Uh, what am I going to do? Pop the bonnet, check the location of the oil filter. Uh, I've got some engine flush to put in. Some people don't use it, but I tend to on diesels. Uh, going to put the car up on its ramps and locate the sump plug somewhere under here. And uh, yeah, get started. So let's get going. So the car's up on the ramp successfully. I've laid down some ground matting. I'm just going to open the bonnet and have a quick look. Yeah, bit filthy, but I'm not here for that. Um, just going to see if the oil filter is at the front or at the back. Alternator, yeah. let's have a look. Right, so let's have a look underneath. <sighs> right, so the oil filter is there, it's looking rather wet and the sump plug is there at the back, which is handy because the car's actually on a slight incline down the drive. So the oil, in theory, should run to the back of the car. Um, a bit surprised at how wet it is, but again, it's not been changed in years. Um, yeah. So, let's see. So what I'm going to do, I've got some chemical to go in the engine. Um, which should flush a lot of the particulars out. So let's make a start on that. First off, I'm going to clean up this and clean up that just to make sure I can get them off. Right, so back at the top of the engine bay, that's obviously where the oil goes, but not as an advertisement, but this is what I'm going to put in. It's basically an engine flush, um, as it says, cleans the engine internals removes harmful deposits, lots and lots of benefits. Basically, as it will say, directions, uh, bring the engine to operating temperature, switch off the engine, add the contents, start the engine for 20 minutes, and then, um, yeah, let it do its trick. So let's get that done. Right, so the engine flushes in, the cap is back on. Um, I'm now going to start the engine and let it run. Oh, yay! <laughs> Get in there. Right. Out of gear, car needs a desperate clean, but. And I'll bring you back very shortly. Right, so welcome back. We're under the car. The car's been running some time. Obviously it's up to temperature. Nice and warm. Um, see how easy this uh, sub plug comes out down. Thank you. 
as per usual, not easy at all. Right, so I've been and got my um, socket set, 13 mil. And that's given me the leverage just to get it undone, as you can see. I knew it'd be tight. Um, it's not actually a renewable bolt or washer. It's a reusable one. So let's see if I can do this. Let's try and keep all the washers at the end of the bolt. Now ordinarily you'd come from the other side and do it. Um, yeah. That smells. Right, so I'm going to let the oil drain. Obviously I'm going to stay under the car to catch the oil. And then give this a clean. Um, one of the things I would do is put that back in once this is drained. And then obviously drain the um, top part from the filter. And it looks like because the filter sits in a vertical position, I'll probably have to prime it and put oil in the filter as well. But I'll show you that when we get to it. Right, you join me back under the car, and as you can see, I can show you that wobbling. Um, I put the bolt back in, only a fraction of the way. I've actually replaced the um, copper washer, maybe it's brass, but I'm now going to try and undo the filter. Now, I've given the filter a clean, and there's so limited space. Um, let's move these tools out of the way. And here's a little trick I do, is I put a fresh orange glove on because you can get lots of grip on the filter without it slipping. <laughs> yep, there we go. All I'm done. Right. Yeah, so there's a little bit of oil in the top of the engine. As you can see, it's all going across the uh, cross member. I will give that a clean. I'll let that drain a little bit. I didn't actually think there'd be as much in the filter housing, but there we go. There is. And once that's obviously drained or run down, I'll um, try and remove the filter without pouring it everywhere. There you go, it's already slowing down. But yeah. Disgusting, eh? But obviously I'll clean all that up. Um, let's see. I probably won't be able to keep this vertical because it's really slippery. And if you imagine, I'm led on my belly. Twisting. <laughs> Cack-handedly. Yeah, that's really slippery already. As you can see. Let's just try with the other hand a second. I'll set the camera down. See if I can get it in shot. Probably won't be able to, but... Let's try and roll under or over onto my back. There we go. That's gone in the bucket. And I will leave that for a little while. Yeah, there was a lot of oil still sat in there. And then obviously I'm gonna off up the uh, filter against the other filter, just to make sure it's exactly the same one that I took off. Here we go. This is the uh, filter I'm gonna fit on. Um, yeah. It's listed as the right one, so I'm hopeful the uh, parts supplier sent me the right one. Hmm. <laughs> I may leave that. Let's do a quick look. Yeah, that looks good. The thread size is right, so let's set about cleaning up under the engine where I um, managed to get oil everywhere. Right, so 
I've made plenty of mess underneath. I've got the uh, new oil filter ready. I've opened one of the bottles of oil, so what I'm going to do is prime the actual filter a little bit. Now, there's a lot of debate on whether you actually need to do this, and personally I don't think you need to because the minute you turn the key, the oil pump cranks the oil around. But for the sake of the internet, I'm going to put a tiny bit of oil in there, and obviously a tiny little bit on the rubber seal. You do that because obviously if you put the seal on dry and you twist the filter up, it actually pulls the seal off. So... You don't want to be doing that. Now let's try and do this. There we go. Now you should probably wear gloves, but I have one on this hand. Not on this hand, just typical of the internet, isn't it? Because that's the hand I'm going to use. Um, I'm going to leave it in the box just because. Typical bloke. Wipe it in my trousers. Do that back up. Put that back with the others, um, yeah, so I don't want to kick it over and then get back under the car and put this one on. Here we go, I've kind of got in position. Um, as you can see, there's still a bit of the old oil coming out. It's been dripping for a long, long time, a good half an hour. Um, yeah, just to that clean, clean glove. And let's try... Hold this new filter perfectly vertically. Now, obviously, I didn't fill it to the brim because that would have been very foolish. But uh, yeah, if you remember, clockwise does up, which is good. I shall pinch that up with my other hand because it's. Slightly stronger, um, in case you've wondered how both it focuses. I've tightened that bolt up, that's all good and secure. So, yeah, as I say, all there is is to pinch this up with my hand. I don't want to get it oily, and then obviously I can top the car up with oil from the top, let it run, and see if it leaks. Here we go, you draw me back top side. Um, just about to put some more oil in. I've gone with 540. Um, yeah, literally put it in there. I'll obviously keep checking the dipstick to make it uh, make sure it's around the right place. I'll get the car on the level ground, run it for a little bit, and then see if there's any leaks. So rather than show me putting the oil in, I'm just going to put the oil in. There we go. The car's running. No morning lights. Um, let's have a quick look. That's okay. You may not be able to hear me, but it's... Uh, so a quick look The stick a quick check, well that's not on level ground. Maybe I should have cleaned the stick. <laughs> um, yeah, that's looking good. There we go, all done. Um, it's going to be rather impossible to see. Let's have a look. But all is looking good. All changed, me for a drive, had a quick look. Yeah, so rather pleased with that. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, click on the like button, click on the subscribe, and I will be bringing you more content on this little Mitsubishi. Firstly, how to clean it. Yeah.